Yo, what is going on, Senpai Squad? Welcome back to a brand new video, and today we've got the review for chapter 213 of Black Clover, and I have one topic that I just can't wait to talk about with this video, and that is the race, the battle per se, to who is going to be the next Wizard King. And contrary to what I actually said last week, if you guys remember, I actually think that after this chapter, William Vengeance may well be the forerunner for the new Wizard King. And like I said last week, I personally don't think that he should become the next Wizard King. And as you can see from Twitter, uh, follow me on there if you're not already, links in the description down below. But you guys don't think he should be either. But like I said, I personally don't think that he should become the Wizard King. However, that doesn't mean that I don't think he will become the Wizard King. It, there's, there's a difference. It's weird, but there is a difference. None of the ordinary Clover Kingdom residents know the absolutely catastrophic things that William has voluntarily caused to their home. And if they never do get told or find out what he did, then judging off what he's done in this chapter, by them, he's going to be viewed as the hero that saved their kingdom. And honestly, I think Tabata has done this on purpose for this very reason. I mean, let's be honest, it's kind of like... The, the race for Wizard King, it's been going back and forth between the same few characters for me. At first I thought that maybe Yami could become the next Wizard King, he was kind of like my initial go-to as soon as uh, it was revealed that Julius was dead. But on second thought as the series carried on I just kind of thought to myself, does Yami fit the mould as Wizard King? Is it something I personally can picture him being? Not really. And then Fregelion reappeared and he was and still is, to be honest, the hands down best candidate in my opinion for the next Wizard, Big Wizard King because not only do the Clover Kingdom love him, not only does he ha tick all the boxes, he's strong, he has a love for the kingdom, he has all the right eth ethnic views on the kingdom, but he's no longer a captain of a squad, he literally ticked every single box and the story was setting up for him to be the next wizard king and then obviously nozelle was actually mentioned by tabata himself in an interview on becoming the next wizard king and uh, a couple people kind of ran with that as well but then just out of nowhere william pops back into the picture and to be honest just kind of runs away and just blitzes past anyone and is now in my opinion the most likely candidate to take over you guys as always are gonna have to let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below like i said my personal pick would be fregelion i don't think william should be anywhere near the wizard king position i don't think he should be a magic knight captain i don't even think he should be a magic knight full stop i know uh broken no hero actually made a video on this chapter and he was saying how it could be interesting if he became the new leader of a of a kind of like a rogue magic knight squad with obviously Raya, Valtos, uh, and all of the you know the th the three third eyes that remain, the elves as as well as you know people uh, who were part of the Eye of Midnight Sun. That would be quite interesting. However, still, I think he needs interrogated, and just something huge has to happen to him, and he shouldn't be anywhere near being a magic knight anymore. However. Despite me saying that, I think the complete opposite is going to happen. I think he's going to become the Wizard King, and I don't know how I'm going to feel about it. But anyway, enough of that. Less of the more serious talk in the chapter. I want to quickly come to something that I personally found quite funny, and I want to know if you guys picked up on it as well. And that was the fact that either Tabata, one of his assistants or the editor himself definitely the editor because he's one that allowed this to slip through but did you notice the art mistake with Licht in this chapter for some reason whatsoever he was drawn with a dark elf eye now obviously Patry's supposed to have that eye but for whatever reason it was Licht in this chapter a bit odd clearly a mistake it's going to be interesting to see how whether or not that's rectified for the release of the volume that includes this chapter you'd like to think it is you honestly would however 
when the volume that contains this chapter finally goes on sale, I just want you guys, we're going out, we'll all go together, we'll all go to our local Warstones, whatever your local, local bookstore is, and uh, we'll have a look and see whether or not they actually did rectify it, because it has to happen, this. you've got to fix that. But guys, thank you so much for watching. I want you guys to let me know in the comment section down below whether, you th whether or not you think that the first arc in our brand new saga will be something reminiscent of the chairman election arc from Hunter Hunter if you've seen that you know are we gonna have a small arc dedicated to actually picking our next wizard king because I think something as huge as that needs kind of its own dedicated arc you know like between five to ten chapters something like that because obviously with black clover's pacing it's going to be a little bit shorter than your average election arc from another series but and one other little thing I'm going to throw out there as a wild card, which I commented on last week. Julius, will we even need a first a new Wizard King? Will he come back? Because part of me just can't shake off the feeling that he's not finished. You can't give someone who, to be honest, didn't do a great deal. We all loved him. He was an absolute badass, but he didn't do a lot. And you killed him off to create this huge impact. And you gave him a, a, a magic so busted as time magic, something so convenient even for a scenario like this. I just can't shake off the feeling that something is going to happen to bring him back. I just, I can't get rid of it. Guys, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Subscribe if you're not ready to become a member of the Senpai Squad and leave a like on the video if you enjoyed. I'll see you guys in another video. But until then, peace.